Hiya and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making sweet and sour cauliflower wings. Here I have one head of a cauliflower which I have washed and cut into three centimeter pieces. You will also need one cup of cornmeal, some olive oil, some breadcrumbs, white wine vinegar, tomato ketchup, soya milk, Chinese fry spice, black pepper, garlic powder, corn flour, paprika, some pineapple in their syrup, not in ju or juice, yeah, salt, red and green pepper, an onion, dark brown sugar, some dark soy sauce, spring onions and the chilli. Oh, that was a lot of ingredients. The dark soy sauce is vegan. We need to prepare the batter to dip the cauliflower in. So I have here one cup of cornmeal. To that, I'm going to add some soya milk. I'm going to start off with one cup of soy milk. And just give that a simple mix. Now I said to start off with one cup because sometimes corn milk gets thick quite quickly. It needs to be thick enough to actually coat the cauliflower. So I'm going to put in just a couple of more tablespoons of cauliflower. Now that's the kind of consistency we want. Yep, great. I'm now going to add half a teaspoon of paprika. Ooh. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Maybe another one. That's a whole teaspoon. Just going to add just a little bit of salt, so about an eighth of a teaspoon. And half a teaspoon of Chinese five spice. Give that a quick mix. Okay, to further season that with some black pepper. I'm now drizzling just a little bit of oil, probably about a teaspoon, and give that a mix. And that's going to help crisp up the cauliflower. Now it's good to go. I'm now going to preheat this oven to 180 degrees. And I have, and I have a baking tray which has got a silicone bat ready for the cauliflower. The breadcrumbs that I'm using is two slices of white bread which I've just um, grinded into breadcrumbs. And I'm just going to put that in a bowl. That was a bit obvious, wasn't it? Grind it into breadcrumbs. And now we're going to simply get our cauliflower, put them into the batter, coat it, and then coat it with breadcrumbs. So I'm only going to put a few in at a time. Make sure that all these are coated nicely. So that's one. Dip it in the breadcrumbs. 
give it a little shake and onto our mat. Again. Right. I'll see you when I've done all of them. I haven't greased this um, silicone mat because it doesn't need it. And what I'll be doing is when I come about halfway through cooking, I will be um, drizzling some oil on the underside. So I think that's it. Yep, last one. Ooh. Mush use all. And there we go. Now all I'm doing is putting some olive oil just on the tops, because as I said, halfway through cooking, I'll turn them around and give them a little bit of olive oil on the other side. So, yep, that looks like it's ready. So I'm going to put them in the oven. And although the cooking time is about 40 to 45 minutes, I'm going to check on these in about 30 minutes because not all cauliflower are the same. I've actually left these in for 35 minutes. I thought it needed the extra 5 minutes. Right. Ooh. So I'm going to turn these and give them a little drizzle of olive oil on the other side and hopefully 10 minutes later these are going to be done. Ooh. In fact, they are done. I told you, not all cauliflower is the same. Look, it didn't need the extra um, oil on it. Right, I'm just going to get a knife and just put it through a look at that. Ooh, right, I'm just gonna have a quick taste of this one. It's gonna be hot. Oh my God, that is good. Oh, they're done. Yep, we can now make our sauce. I'm going to cut this onion into large chunks. I'll give it a three way there and there. Something like this. Next are spring onions. I'm just slicing these on a diagonal. Chili, I'm just going to slice it lengthways. And, whoops, let's put that there, de-seed, because I don't want it too hot. Now, I've used one of these chilies in a previous dish, and um, it wasn't that hot, actually. So, unlike the previous dish of using half, I'm actually going to use a whole one. Very finely. Next are peppers. I'm just going to cut them into chunks. Veg done. Now we can make the sauce. Right. Fire to a medium high heat. And to that, I'm going to add some olive oil. I'm going to first add our onions. And just give them a little coating of the oil. And I'm just going to leave them there for about 30 seconds. And then turn them again. The onions are now starting to separate. That's what we want. Now I'm going to add my chili. Let's give that a quick warm through. Now I'm going to add the peppers. And I'm just going to cook that through literally for a minute because I want the peppers to slightly soften but still have that crunch. Right. That's looking good. So now I'm only going to add in half of our big onions. The 
Ta Now I'm going to turn the fire low and I'm going to remove them and put them in a bowl. So now, very quickly, I'm going to add our sugar to that, our dark soy sauce. The juice of this pineapple came from the tin. Oh, look at that. Terrible. I'll put it back. And while the onions were just cooking, I've just mixed the one teaspoon of corn flour with about a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half of uh, plain mortar just to make a slate. So I'm just adding that in. We're also going to add in our tomato ketchup and half a teaspoon of Chinese five spice now I couldn't find my spoon I don't know if I've laid it so I'm just going to give it just a little nibble little spring cool like that fire high we're going to mix and this will form a nice thick sauce great I'll just turn that by down just a little slightly because I want to cook out the cornflour for about 30 seconds. Now I'm going to go in with our pineapple and what should happen is while the pineapple is cooking for about 30 seconds it's going to start releasing some of its juices and increase the, um, the amount of liquid in our sauce. Now I can see that that might need just a little bit more liquid yep so i'm just going to add a little bit more water oh, that's about two tablespoons to that and yep that's what we want yeah great now i'm going to add back our veg And we're now going to put the fire down because this is going to take a little while. Going to add our cauliflower wings. Now you hear how crunchy they are? When that sauce hits the wings, it's going to soften slightly. But inside, it's still going to be that nice firm cauliflower. Oh, that's so nice. All right, and now we can just bottom to the top and just gently coat them all. Right, that took me about a minute to store all that. Ooh, there is a lot here, isn't there? Now I'm going to add the remaining spring onions. Give me this final stir. And there we have it. Simple. Ish. <laughs> Fire off. Let's dish up. Ooh. Looks so good. Yowie. Now, I've got a slight confession to make because um, this is the first time I'm doing this dish. You see, I came up <laughs> With this idea of doing a sweet and sour cauliflower wings is because I'm doing a sweet and sour um, meat version for our meat eaters in the family and one of my daughters does not eat meat so I forgot to add in the vinegar let's see how it tastes here goes Oh one it doesn't need the vinegar so when i'm going to write up this recipe i'm omitting the vinegar i don't think she's going to get any of this
that is <laughs> yeah it's good what's wrong with this if you want my version of sweet and sour cauliflower meat please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel and this is going to be the first dish which i created on my youtube channel <laughs> until the next time see ya Thank <laughs> you.